something happening here But what it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down for months, we've been digging into ATF's controversial Fast and Furious case. For the first time tonight, only on ABC 15, investigator Lori Jane Gleha shows you proof the assault weapons linked to that program are showing up in our neighborhoods. Endangered the American public. It appears the investigation was conducted in a recklessly planned manner. We weren't giving guns to people who were hunting bear. We were giving guns to people who were killing other humans. They are Phoenix ATF agents talking about high-powered assault rifles. Guns like the weapons found at the murder scene of Border Patrol agent Brian Terry, shot in the back just before Christmas. Do you solemnly swear? Or... ATF agents in Phoenix say for months they knowingly allowed thousands of these guns to slip into the hands of buyers who would distribute the weapons to known criminals. It made no sense to us either. It's just what we were ordered to do, and every time we questioned that order, um, you know, the, there was punitive action. It was part of a strategy intended to lead investigators to drug lords in Mexico. But agents involved say they never actually followed the weapons to see where they ended up. How many weapons do we have that we do not know where they are? Anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500, 1,800 guns. The list of guns in this federal court document contains the names and serial numbers of more than 40 assault weapons. Many look similar to these. The weapons turned up at the scene of a Drug Enforcement Administration traffic stop in mid-April. Agents made the bus near the Tolleson phoenix border at 83rd Avenue and the I-10 freeway. The ABC 15 investigators uncovered documents showing those guns are also linked to a questionable ATF case called Fast and Furious, a case in which agents knowingly let guns slip into the hands of criminals. These ATF suspect gun summary documents contain lists of suspicious gun sales and buyers, a sort of ATF watch list. We matched gun serial numbers on the watch list with guns recovered in the April bust. These documents prove at least 43 of the weapons recovered in the bust are also connected to the ATF Fast and Furious case. DEA agents discovered drugs at the scene, and this court record shows four of the men arrested with some of the guns were in the country illegally. Our investigation found other weapons linked to the controversial ATF strategy turning up near 83rd Avenue and McDowell in Phoenix, 43rd Avenue and Camelback in Phoenix, and we found a gun linked to drug crimes at homes near these locations in Phoenix and Glendale. Who knows where they're going to end up, and in fact there's ample evidence even besides uh, your own uh, investigation that they've been used on crimes on this side of the border. But how many? I can't give you a figure. Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley told us he's collecting evidence, trying to find out which leaders knew about the ATF strategy and when. And in early June, he sent public records requests to every county sheriff and every major police department in the Valley in an effort to track what may be hundreds of other illegally purchased guns in our state. Weapons, ATF agents say they knowingly let fall into the hands of criminals. With people like you down there in Arizona investigating this and with uh, Congressman Isa and, uh, and this senator on the case, uh, they know we aren't going to give up. I believe that these firearms will continue to turn up at crime scenes on both sides of the border for years to come. The ATF denied our Freedom of Information Act request for information about other weapons that have slipped through the cracks and have been linked to Valley crimes. And they refused to comment on what we uncovered, saying it's still part of an open investigation. ABC News senior White House correspondent Jake Tapper pressed the president's press secretary for answers. How come we know so little, the public knows so little about this program, and what is the administration <coughs> doing to get to the bottom of these weapons? I think there's an investigation going on precisely to get to the bottom of this. Is this not something that, that you guys are worried about and incensed about? This is a, something that... A, well, Jake, I think it's being investigated for a reason. Also this week, there are new allegations from congressional leaders questioning whether the FBI and the DEA had paid informants involved in the operation in some way. The Assistant Attorney General released a response explaining the Justice Department is working on the best way to share information about those concerns without compromising any investigation. I'm Investigator Lori J. Leha, ABC 15 News. Just a song.
Get burned. 